Dear families, uh, it is Thursday, November 12th, and this may come as a bit of a shocker uh, to you and certainly your students, but we are one-third of the way through our school year. Uh, I'd like to start by highlighting how proud I am of our students. Enduring challenge is one of our life readiness principles, and I think our students have exceeded our expectations uh, given the circumstances that we're in. As I spend some time to reflect on the first few months of school, one thing that has kind of surprised me is how normal everything has felt inside of our building. Uh, as I walk through the hallways, I see the joy of our students. Uh, I see learning. I see deep and meaningful relationships being built between teachers and students and students and students. Uh, yeah, we might have a little bit more distance and a few extra safety measures, but the heart of our school hasn't changed. Uh, and I don't know if your kids can relate, uh, but in a lot of ways, school feels like a bit of an escape. Up until last week, our school community was largely unimpacted by COVID-19. Uh, and over the last few days, to be honest with you, it feels like it's hitting a little closer to home. Uh, although we have no known student-to-student -student spread inside of our building, a significant amount of our students are on a 14-day quarantine from school uh, due to exposure. For most of our students, that quarantine is set to expire early next week. Attached to this email, you are going to find an important document, and I'm asking you to review it as a family. It explains some updates and revisions to our local school policies at WCS. Earlier in the week, we did a survey, um, and it helped us kind of get the pulse on our community. And what, become very, what became very clear in that survey uh, is that a lot of us have strong convictions relating to COVID-19. And to be quite honest, that goes in all directions. Uh, as you read this document, I just want to make a plea to you. Uh, can we not allow uh, these strong opinions and convictions to distract us from our purpose or to divide us as a community? Every decision that I have made and we have made as a school is with our mission at the center. That mission is to support families in equipping children to reach God's standard of spiritual maturity and academic excellence. Uh, look, frankly, we want to be here for you. Uh, we want our staff to stay healthy. We want our kids, your kids, to have the option of being in the classroom. Uh, and we thank God that we have had that freedom and the ability to do that. Uh, I believe that our ability to continue having that option to do in-person learning comes down to what we are willing to do as a community. Uh, we said this at the beginning of the year in our Endure plan, but health and well-being is everyone's responsibility, and we as a school cannot do it alone. Uh, as you read that letter, your family may have questions, and I'll do my best to respond to you in a timely manner. Everyone at our school, staff, and faculty um, are putting in major sweat equity to continue providing a top-notch Christian education for your family. Um, words can't express the gratitude that I have uh, towards our staff and our faculty. They are going above and beyond uh, for the benefit of your children. Uh, we'll be here continuing to point your children towards truth and to Jesus Christ. Uh, and as you read that letter, I just want to thank you in advance uh, for your flexibility and graciousness uh, as we see what tomorrow brings. Thank you, Waterloo Christian School, and have a great night. <laughs>